Hey UTA, I'm Sherea Sheridan. Here is your top story for January 21st, 2009. Hi, I'm at the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, a uh, Texas tradition since 1896. Event grounds open at 8 and stay open until 10 p.m. There are rodeo events at 2 and 7.30 p.m. This year, a new attraction was added to the event. The Windstar Rodeo Roadhouse provides music near the Midway. 51 performers are on tap this year. Special rodeo days include January 26th, when breast cancer survivors get them free and half of all ticket sales go to Susan G. Komen for the cure. January 29th is Boy Scout Day, when scouts in uniform get free general admission. February 1st is Military Day, and all active and retired military personnel and their immediate families receive free general admission and tickets to the rodeo. General admission is $8 for adults, $4 for ages 6 to 16, and free for age 5 and under. This includes access to livestock events, the carnival and midway, education programs, and commercial exhibits. The rodeo is $16 or $22, depending on the day. And if you want to catch the festivities, make sure you come out before February 7th. And remember, it's cash only. This has been Jason Boyd, the Shorthorn Scene Editor. Creek organizations kicked off formal spring recruitment Wednesday. Some organizations set up information tables in the University Center Palo Duro Lounge and on the UC Mall. As a result of the Greek community's average student GPA falling to 2.58 in the fall of 08, freshmen are now required to wait until their second semester to go Greek. Delta 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 member and history junior Whitney Mitchell says her sorority is telling those interested in rushing, grades come first. The Greek Welcome Back Bonfire begins at 6 p.m. Friday on the West Lawn. Military science students received a formal welcome to the spring semester Thursday at the introductory lab in the University Center Rio Grande Ballroom. The biannual event marked the first time all members of the Corps of Cadets were addressed by military science professor Lieutenant Colonel Albert Alba. Alba discussed the expectations of cadets ranging from physical training to academic standards. All the cadets were also assigned to their units at that time. Assistant Vice President of Management Services, Wilvin Parker, will be retiring January 22nd after spending 39 years at UTA. Parker started his term on campus as Assistant Dean of Student Life and closes it out overseeing university housing and dining services. A reception will be held for him from 2 to 4 p.m. on Friday in the University Center Palo Duro Lounge. Parker says his best memory here was the construction of Arlington Hall. We built University Village in 1980. Oh, wow. And so it's been 20 years, and I think at that time, well, I guess it's memorable because that's when started the whole housing, new housing process. The women's basketball team has dominated the series against Stephen F. Austin in recent years. Wednesday's game wasn't any different as UTA broke its two-game losing streak by winning 85-79 to at Texas Hall in a game that went down to the wire. The Mavericks have now won seven straight against SFA and 12 of their last 13 meetings. UTA was down by 11 twice and still managed to come back. The star of the night, however, was senior guard Megan Nelson. She showed why she was the third leading scorer in the Southland Conference by scoring 33 points. The Mavericks are away on Saturday playing at Sam Houston State. We're working on these stories and more. Pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on the racks tomorrow or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm Sharia Sherrod for the Shorthorn After Dark.